Welcome to Dan AHG YouTube. President Tinubu, the smart man, don't call our traditional rulers. Make them help and stop protest where it won't happen on the 1st of August for Nigeria. Because Tinubu no say many of our people they respect our traditional rulers. Naiko Sam, he won't use our traditional rulers. Take stop protest. We won't happen for Nigeria. And many of our traditional rulers now don't carry the message. They don't begin to tell our people, make them no come out to protest. People they hungry for Nigeria. They won't come out, come tell Tinubu say them they hungry. Why Tinubu they stop them? Why Tinubu no want to make them come out protest? I no understand. Make I leave you, make you hear from Apostle Alfred Uyinusa. The man where they talk am as he be. Where they get to talk for this kind thing where they happen for Nigeria. Now, now, we don't, want be, we don't begin a court traditional council. We don't want to use the tradition against the people to, to suppress the will of the people so that the people will not speak out. When there is hardship in the land, when there is pain in the land, when people cannot feed the high rate of, of unemployment, now, now we use the traditional rulers to suppress the people so that the people will not talk. But before you take that decision to intercept subsidies gone, who did you consult? Why you not consult the traditional rulers? Why you not consult the religious leaders? Why you not consult the activists? Why you not consult the, the stakeholders in our society? Why you not consult the youth? My name is Apostle Alfred or John Oyinosa, the Mobile Street Commissioner. The man with the token, the shram, the dwam, as it be. Remember. Now, when the token say, community where good people for keep quiet, Amrabah will become general of Asia. What is not good is bad. Tell friend truth. He not this boyfriend. Which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Nigeria is now or never. Nigeria is now or never on a good evening anyone have to watch this broadcast this night make una share them make una invite on our friends because every matter day we want to talk about this night you know say me at the talk about the be we fear no soul but we respect our soul we fear nobody but we respect everybody which did happen for nigeria What did it happen for Nigeria? Nigeria is now or never. Nigeria is now or never. We will talk as it be. We will hit the nail this night. On top of the head of the nail, we will hit the head of the nail. Number one, my president, Chinubu. Last year for inauguration, your first statement was that subsidy is gone now when you make that pronouncement subsidy is gone did you consult the traditional rulers did you consult the religious leader you consult the activists for nigeria you consult the governors for nigeria you consult the stakeholders for nigeria before you make that statement to say subsidy is gone with that preparation, with that plans to cushion the effect of that statement. Immediately you make the statement, everything about this nation turn upside down from top to bottom. Now the youth don't come and say they want to protest against this hardship. But you say no. You call a call traditional meeting. They call everybody to a meeting with them. Before you take that decision, Mr. President, who you consult? Did you consult the traditional rulers? Did you consult the religious leaders? Did you consult the, 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 the activists? Who you consult before you make that statement? You make that statement. Now, you are not calling on traditional rulers to say, what do we do to stop the youth from protesting? Sir, you know the solution to the problem. It is not calling traditional rulers, calling religious leaders to a roundtable meeting to say, talk to your children, talk to your people, not to allow the protest. Oh, put them behold. The best.
first thing you should do, Mr. President, you know the solution to that problem. Reduce the price of oil first. The same signature when you sign, the same math when you talk and say subsidy is gone. Use that same math now to return fuel back to the normal price. If you take fuel back to the normal price, everything for this country will fall in place. Now, now, when I want be, we don't begin a court traditional council. When I want to use the tradition against the people to, to suppress the will of the people so that the people will not speak out. When there is hardship in the land, when there is pain in the land, when people cannot feed the high rate of, of unemployment. Now, when I want to use the traditional rulers to suppress the people so that the people will not talk. But before you take that decision to, to say if subsidy is gone, who did you consult? Why you not consult the traditional rulers? Why you not consult the religious leaders? Why you not consult the activists? Why you not consult the, the stakeholders in our society? Why you not consult the youth? You did not consult anybody. Now the youth are tired, they want to cry out. Now you are called, doing a stakeholder meeting to, 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 to say no, they should share the protest even for Lagos now. They want to begin to do festival for two weeks festival so that people will not protest. But in your time, you protested against former President Golo Kebele Jonathan. You know the solution, Mr. President, you know the solution to the problem. First of all, reduce the price of oil. Take it back to where it is. Because the subsidy you said it was gone, the subsidy were never gone because you get your seat in the morning. Now you are rolling bag of fat out, they share and give people. Is that a problem in this country? Who eats? Where was see transport? They tell about to go where one go. You give person two cup of fries, then you have done their favor. The high rate of poverty, the high rate of increase in, in this country. That should be the matter to be discussed. Now you are consulting, calling the traditional rulers so they will not suppress the people, that the people cannot speak out. Nigeria is not forever. Nigeria belongs to everybody. Let's go back to the national item. Based on the new national item, so I will talk at a, as in the BDC, the British News National Item. I will make it my legator paper first. You shall see the paper so now soon now soon I put paper for, 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 for Nigeria time. You see paper, I'll get up paper, and I job so the, now so Nigeria they cry, the youth are suffering. The solution is first of all reduce the price of oil. Not sharing rights for people. Are we hungry? Is it rice? You eat who eat one cup of fire. Where wants you trust for take a walk? Where wants you money that trap for take a walk? All right. The new national attempt. I don't know if anybody. The father we are not talking, but we need to talk now. Nigeria, we hear thee. That was the national attempt. The new national attempt. Nigeria, we hear thee. Our own dear native land. 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 Don't try my tongue, may differ. Don't try my tongue may differ. In brotherhood we stand. But today, we are supposed to stand. In brotherhood we stand. We are supposed to stand for the unity of this country. We are supposed to stand for, for progress of this country. Nigeria all are proud to serve. Today, we are no longer proud to serve. We are no longer proud to serve. Bro, give my father. Okay, give my father. Give my father. Thank you. Our sovereign, look at it. Nigeria all and we're proud to serve. Today, the youth are not proud to serve. Our leaders, our people are not proud to serve anymore because of the insensitivities of our leaders in the corridor of power who never be with. But yet, they were quick to, to pass the national item. Our sovereign motherland, 
our sovereign motherland is going through pain our sovereign motherland is going through shame and backwardness our sovereign motherland is bleeding because of the insensitivity of our leaders in the corridor of power who never mean well for the for the people <clears throat> Our flag shall be a symbol. Our flag supposed to be a symbol of progress. Our flag supposed to be a symbol of unity. Our flag is supposed to be a symbol for prosperity. Our flag supposed to be a, a, a symbol for, for, for development. But today, our flag is bringing shame and reproach to all and everybody in this country. Outside the country, you are you are not bold enough to say you are from Nigeria. When you bring out your passport for embassy, they go screw you one million times because they feel that everybody coming from Nigeria are rogue. Because of the indecision, because of the insincerity of the part of our leaders. Now I want you the traditional rulers to suppress the people. And we say no to it. That truth and justice reign. So my Mr. President, sir. Why you don't want truth and justice to reign? Why? Let me pay this call. Please, I'm on a live broadcast. I'll call you back. Based on the national item. Based on the national item. That truth and justice reign. Why is it that the Mr. The, the Mr. President just don't want truth and justice to reign? Why? Why is the APC leadership so afraid to allow truth and justice reign in Nigeria? Why? You want to pray? Okay, let me continue. And this we can't as gain. So what are we not counting as gain in this country? Nothing. Practical zero. What are we counting as gain currently? What are we counting as gain? We are not counting anything as gain currently. Nothing. What we count as gain right now in Nigeria is pain, unemployment, hardship, poverty. Our people, they buy uh, premature. People don't feel eat. That is what we not count as gain. Our crude oil is supposed to be a blessing, not a cause, because of the insincerity on the part of our leaders. Leaders who never meet where leaders who never care. They only care about themselves and their generation. They only care about their family and their children. But they never care about the plight of the people. And this we can't. First of all, say that truth and justice reign. Ha 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 our flag shall be a symbol that truth and justice reign. Where is the truth in Nigeria? Where is the truth in Nigeria? Where is the justice in Nigeria? Where is the justice? Now the youth want to speak out. The president said, no, the youth must not speak out. The youth does not have the right to speak out. Now you are calling on all traditional rulers to say, tell your people not to protest. Before you remove the subsidy, did you call the traditional ruler to consult with them? Before I continue, make I play the video of Tinubu calling for protest. What's that? Let me play it. This situation, for the good of all of us, do not allow the opportunity to make things better for us. They make it better for themselves, for their comfort and their families. Cronism is prevailing. Today, our rulers in Abuja and across some of their states, You know what they say to us when they remove subsidy and we said no. Hunger is increasing, they say so what? Unemployment is a cause, they say yes, we know. 
Why are the people hungry? Is then let them face death. That is what is in Abuja of today. The current way of governance, let nation do the impossible. What it does, it makes poverty and the erosion of just society inevitable. We have gathered at this hour in this place to put an end to the national corruption and corruption. We have assembled here today to bring a new day and a new Nigeria to our people. Today, the Nigerian people are decent and hard-working people. They are equally long sovereign. They tolerate for too long. Just because they are long sovereign does not mean they should be forced to suffer until death comes. We, our people, we've had enough of excuses. Our people have had enough of having nothing. The current government's trademark is to throw empty words all action at our problem as if doing nothing will cause our troubles to leave for sheer boredom. Unemployment increases. Industrialization we have not. Refinery nothing is working. Electricity they lie. If this is the government of if, if this is the government's idea of transformation and we have none of it, we should not have any of it. Because before we say the government of slow motion. Now it is the government of no motion at all. If they want to stand still at the bus stop or train station and be stagnated without poverty, they have the right to do so. And we have a right to kick them out. Not enough that they are stealing from our children tomorrow. for lack of inspected in education. They are still embezzling the retirement benefit of hardworking Nigeria, including our grandfathers. They are stealing the pot, the treasury, not even leaving some coins for us to work with. Let them be out. Out now. All right. See, <laughs> what you fight against is not fighting against you, and you cannot stop the people from speaking out. When President Tinubu lead protests against Tinubu um, against President Gulokim and Jonathan, the whole of Southwest mobilized. What I learn from this: do not criticize what you know you do not have the capacity to amend. Do not speak against any leader where you know you will not do better. So when I see people, they insult government up and I will smile because they never give you the opportunity. Because if given the opportunity, you will do worse than the leader you are speaking against. I know this right from the one. So when people they criticize, oh, government, the government, that this person did, because that person never entered position. The very moment that person entered position, trust me, the true nature of that person you will come at and the person will go even worst by the people when they criticize this is exactly what is happening to president people today you want to put us in a country where nobody can talk anymore now you are calling traditional uh, rulers calling religious leaders to hold meeting with them to say talk to your people before you remove the subsidy did you call the traditional rulers did you call the traditional rulers? Did you call the religious leaders to hold a meeting with them to say, what do we do? I want to remove subsidy. What is what is going to be the, the, the repo effect? Now you are calling on the traditional rulers so they can talk to the people to oppress the people. And we said no to it. Let me go.
go back to the national anthem. In peace, look at it. In peace or battle honor. In peace or battle honor. If you guys need peace, then <laughs> let honor prevail. If you guys need peace, do the right thing. Because this is what the national item said. This is what who be this animal? An animal, your father, your mother are mad. You use your name, make God punish you, punish your generation. According to the Bible, the Bible says, Woe unto those that say good and call it evil. Woe unto you, you that is hiding the other and animals. God punish you and your generation. Your wife shall become a widow. If you have a wife, your wife will become a widow. If you have any child, your child shall become vagabond. Use your real name. Use your real face to comment here. Or else thunder will fire you. In peace of battle honor. In peace of battle honor. And this we can't as gain. What are we not counting as gain today? What do we not count as gain? The, the, the FPC federal government, what they are they not counting as gain today? Backwardness. Failure. Uh, whether not Akule, your father. No, not be you. Okay. Vincent Smith. Vincent Smith, your father, your mother, the Chris. All of them away, they hide under project account to comment negatively. Now, Vanuku go salo you wahu. Now, turn that go fire all of them. When a children become widow, when a wife will become, when a children become vagabond, when a wife will become widow. We see, we don't see anybody because they will keep quiet. Not so, we don't know what they do. Let's continue. In peace or battle honor, now two things. Don't the APC need peace? If they need peace, reduce the price of oil. If they need peace, let that is ready in this country. If you want honor, choose one peace or battle honor. Because the youth are ready to fight battle honor. We'll fight for our life. How many people who now go buy you? How many people now go fit buy? You want to be ready to put the attention, to put the entire youth in prison. Look at what happened. And this we can't have gain. What is our leader that cutting has gain? Poverty, hardship, pain, unemployment. What? What are they not catching at gain? Or timely death? Habit of insecurity? That's what they not catch at gain. He said, to hand to our, our children a banner without stain. Today, there is no banner. There is no banner. We have the banner to hand over to our children. To hand to our children a banner without stain. The banner as of today is already stained. It's already stained. It's already stained. It's already stained. The banner is stained already. Stained with pain. And I said, O oh God of creation, grant this our one request. What is our one request? That Mr. President should take the price of wealth back. It's not increase. increasing minimum wage is not going to solve the problem. Increasing minimum wage is increasing minimum problem. If you not be man Increasing minimum problem, not minimum wage. Yeah, good evening, I'm on the live broadcast. Look at what happened again. Grant
grant so oh god of all creation grant this our one request our one request help us to build a nation how can we build a nation under this i think our leaders should go back to the new national anthem that they themselves introduced to this country the old national anthem was brought back so why are you people not living according to this national anthem how can God help us when we are not ready to put ourselves in a position where God can help us? Where no man is oppressed, but today our leaders are now oppressing the people. People should go back to the national item. Go and implement the national item. Word by word, not single. Where no man is oppressed. No, why do the president want to use the traditional ruler to oppress the people? Why do Mr. President want to use the religious leader to oppress the people? I say the way it is. Why? Why do you want to use our leader to oppress us? Where no man is oppressed. So, why do you want to oppress the people by saying they shouldn't protest? You people should live by the world. You people should live by the word, which is the national anthem, where no man is oppressed. So why do Mr. President want to oppress Nigeria using different organs of government to oppress everybody? If you not be man with yeah, good evening, I'm on the live broadcast. Good evening, I'm on the live broadcast. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and talk. Yeah. That, how about when they talk, say, when you talk just now? He don't do the already for the months. The, the imam, imam don't they preach already. Where their people don't come and first that very day. So, they don't do the plan for the southwest. Where their people might be first that very day. So, they don't. I'm trying to make the south, south, southwest, the southeast. But this is what I'm trying to do. But we don't look there. No problem. We don't look there. But God will bless you. God bless you. We don't yeah. we look. We don't say they're not going to go anywhere. That's your good work. That yeah. Victor, Victor, whatever. Victor, whatever. Anything where push and come, you will still push and go back. And you don't go better for. Amen. Amen. All right, yeah. This is a new national term. I am not the one who wrote the national term. It is Mr. President who endorses it. We are no man is oppressed. So, Mr. President, sir, the Senate President, one of our oppressed Nigerians, one of our oppressed Nigerians, one of our oppressors. Using different organ of government, using the traditional rulers, the religious leader to oppress the people. If you know what you are doing is wrong, is right. Why call the traditional rulers to oppress the people? You know the solution: reduce the price of oil. Take oil back to the normal price. Take it back to where it is. To where it is. Take for it back to the normal price. Uh, would you catch you, uh, uh, easy. The father, you are my friend. Stop your nonsense comment. Or I'll block you. You as an APC guy, stop it. The father, I don't respond to you because you're my friend. But let this be the last time. Would you catch you, easy. Let it be the last time you comment this nonsense. Or else I will block you. You hear me so? When I will be APC, all the guesses. Are you not suffering the hardship? Don't try this again. On your catching easy. The fact that I know you does not give you the right to commit nonsense on my post. Or else I will block you. You hear me? Don't try that nonsense again. Don't try that nonsense again. APC without wisdom and sense. Not the get sense. Just stay in your lane. Because this evening, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not friend to anybody. So you can see say, stay in your lane. Mind how you comment on my comment on my post. Or it will block you. 
I know you on Facebook, I'll leave you on Facebook. Stop it. A nation where no man is oppressed. A nation where no man is oppressed. So why are they not oppressing people? Look at block that block this idiot. Since you not you not get a card for yourself. Now I block your uh, new casino. Let me block you once and for all. Since you don't want to have sense. Now I block you. Once we see for street to greet. You hear me so? Since you don't get sense. By night, since you don't get sense, I don't see never see, never see wide rich. Women why? Let me block you. Now I'm we will there. We'll just see greet ourselves. You understand? So let me block you off my space because I think that by now it's put on wise, but mm mm, women why? You know, I felt block you before, you know, I'm going to block you again. Where no man is oppressed. Where no man is oppressed. Where no man is oppressed. Now, why is Mr. President want to oppress Nigeria? Why? Before you say subsidy is gone, did you consult the traditional rulers? Did you consult the religious leaders? Did you consult the stakeholders in our society? Did you consult them? Did you consult the civil society? Did you consult them? Now, where fire day mountain, you are not consulting our traditional rulers, consulting our religious leaders, consulting everybody to say, go and talk to your people. Go and talk to your people. Do the right thing. Live by the constitution. Live by the constitution. According to the 99th constitution. According to the constitution that the people have right to protest. That the primary responsibility of government is to provide security and welfare for the people. To provide security and welfare for the people. To provide security and welfare for the people. Back to the country, back to the national term. Where no man is oppressed, make gonna live by this, by this, live by it. Mr. President, live by this national item. Hmm? Live by this national item. And so with peace. And plenty and peace and plenty and peace and plenty Nigeria may be blessed this is what it, that is, this, that, this is just the word so this is the national item so let us live by the national item let's go back to the national item Let's go back to the national item. We are no man is oppressed. So, Mr. President, why do you want to oppress the people? Why do you want to oppress the people? Mr. President was the one who led a protest against former President Gulak Ebele Jonathan. So, what we are saying? Peaceful protest. Peaceful protest. No destruction of property. No vandalization of uh, of government property. No, don't touch any property. Don't touch any property. No attack any government institution. They let the police and army be on ground to do their job, so that the politician themselves will not attack the protest. So that the politician themselves will not attack the protest. Will not attack. The protest. Hmm. We're not the protest. All we are saying, 
Let the people protest and say their mind. And the work of the of, of the people is to promote, is to pro, is, is, is to is, is, is to protect them. Is to protect them. Ohama gume gwa o ikugeria. Ohama gume gwa o ikugeria. Nobody can stop us. An idea can be delayed, but such idea cannot be stopped by any individual. This brings me to my question. The traditional rulers, Tinubu called now to say, go and tell your people, how they be they have a great help to the people. How many of them do they, they help their citizen? What has been the role of the traditional rulers in Nigeria to the people? How many of the traditional rulers don't call their people and say, come, we have so 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 this, oh yeah, this, this, let us cushion the effect of the removal of some subsidy so, so, so in Nigeria? Let's start from there. Let's start from there. The religious leaders, the traditional rulers, let's begin to say it right now. Let's say it right now. Let's say it right now. More talk about to be. The same traditional rulers that Mr. President is calling to hold a meeting, they need to hold a meeting to say what do we do? The president knows the solution. The solution is to reduce the price of fuel. That's the first thing. Then things go normalize for this country. How many traditional rulers don't give their people scholarship for this country? Let's start from there. With this current hardship in Nigeria, what has been their role? What has been their role to the life of the people? In this country, Nigeria. Then tomorrow, when I will say, oh, do not drag traditional rulers into politics. But did they say already take his side with a government against the people? More than all, let us talk this evening. This is the truth. You cannot fight against what you stood for. If Tinubu could lead a protest against former President Golok Ebelo Jonathan, and the video does not lie, it's there. For the sake of those just coming in, I'm going to play it again. Make a year with him, Tinubu talk then. This who could improve a situation for the good of all of us, do not allow the opportunity to make things better for us. They make it better for themselves, for their comfort and their families. Cronism is prevailing. Today, our rulers in Abuja and across some of their state. You know what they say to us when they remove subsidy and we said no. Hunger is increasing, they say so what? Unemployment is a cause, they say yes, we know. Why are the people hungry? Is that let them face death? That is what is in Abuja of today. The current way of governance, let nation do the impossible. What it does, it makes poverty and the erosion of just society inevitable. We have gathered at this hour in this place 
to put an end to the national corruption and corruption. We have assembled here today to bring a new day and a new Nigeria to our people. Now this was a statement made by President Tinubu years ago. And we will we'll replay this video again and again. In conclusion, the president knows the solution to the problem. What is the solution? Reduce the price of oil back. Take it back to where he made it. Take dollar back to where he did. See if things no will return back to this country the way it was. You need the solution, Mr. President. Know the solution of this matter. Mr. President know the solution very well. He knows. And let us go back and stand by the national item. A country where no man is oppressed. If you cannot live by this statement, then there is no point be the president of this country, Nigeria. If you cannot live by every line, every word in this national item, then something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. Not me talking. This is a new national item. Where no man is oppressed. Not me talking. Where no man is oppressed. And so with peace, with plenty. How can we enjoy peace and plenty in this country? How? When every man is being oppressed. In battle, or in peace, or in battle or not. So the answer belongs to the Senate President. We are currently in a country where every man is oppressed. When you talk, you become an enemy of the land. It ought not to be. It ought not to be. A country that truth and justice reign. Today, they have killed justice and they have killed truth. They fight against justice, they fight against truth. And yet, you want everybody to be singing the national item. How can the national item make sense when you, the leader, refuse to implement what is written in this national item? How can it work? How can it work? How can it work? In conclusion, I'm going to read the national term from the beginning to the end again. Then I leave the matter for now. Nigeria, we hate thee. Our own dear native land. Though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand. Nigeria, all. I'm proud to serve our sovereign motherland. Our flag shall be a symbol that truth and justice reign. Today, our flag has become a flag of dishonor. Our flag now brings shame, now bring pain to us in this country. In peace or battle honor. And this we can't as gain. What do we not count as gain? What can we count as gain today in Nigeria? Hardship, poverty, setback, unemployment. To hand to our children a banner without stain, but today which banner do you want to hand over? The banner that is already filled with stain. By now, the, the APC federal government is supposed to be apologizing to Nigeria, say we are sorry. We brought this pain, we brought this hardship as a result of some policy that we have implemented. Please, what do we do? This is the statement that we are supposed to be hearing from the APC government. But today, reverse is the case. Oh God of all creation, grant this 
our war request. We request you want God to grant. The prayer that you are not ready to implement the prayer that you are not ready to implement you are saying God should grant us this one request how can God grant you this one request when you are not ready to live by your prayer when you are not ready to live by your prayer when you are not ready to implement everything on a national item now you are now saying oh God grant our one request help us to build a nation how can God help you to build a nation when you have refused to do the right thing God cannot help you to build a nation that you are not ready to be built. God can only help you when you make av yourself available to be helped. God cannot pay attention to anyone who does not call for his attention genuinely. This is the truth. God cannot help us to build a nation when the leaders are not ready to do the right thing for the nation where no man is oppressed but today they are now using various organs of government to oppress the people and so with peace and plenty how can we uh, how can there be peace and for all to enjoy it it's not possible we can't because our leaders are not ready to implement the right thing. In conclusion, Nigeria may be blessed. How can Nigeria may be blessed? God has blessed us with everything that we need. God has blessed us with everything. God has blessed us with everything. Mr. President, do the right thing. Reduce the price of oil. Start from there, and every other thing will fall in place. Subsidy is gone. Before you, did you hold any meeting? Now today now you call the whole meeting. You are now holding meeting to call them. Oh, there's problem, but our youth want to fight back. The, before you say something is going, you call anybody for meeting. That's how I want to talk and reach. Even I like when I twist my statement. If I like, we can twist my statement. If I like, when I call the video to do statement. That's my business. I will live according to the constitution and I'll continue to say it based on the new national term be implemented by the federal government please those of you that are willing to protest i beg you do not vandalize government property do not vandalize private property do your peaceful protest i know the government are not against peaceful protest the nigeria army the police they are not against peaceful protests. So your protest should be peaceful. Ensure you identify any bad eggs in your midst that want to adjust the protest. Remember what happened in us It was the, the, the politician that sponsored some hoodlums to adjust that protest. So guys, use your brain. Use your head. I beg you, please, use your brain, use your head. Do not, I repeat, do not attack any government property. Do not attack 
any private property. Do not attack any institution. When you do that, you will give room to the government to bring you down. I repeat, do your peaceful protest. Press home your demand without resorting to violence. Because I know the political class are also making plans to counter the protest, to make it look as if it was violent. So my youth, I beg you, make your statement, but do not vandalize government property. Do not vandalize public-private property. Do not pick up arm. No carry stick. No carry anything. Peaceful protest. I beg you. Because if you allow those hoodlums attack them, the government will come for every one of you. They will see an opportunity to bring you guys down. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear. But as you stand, Mr. President, you know the solution to the problem. You know. Reduce the price of fuel. Reduce the price of fuel. Make another pronouncement that the price of fuel reduce. Take it back to the way it was. It is not increasing minimum wage. Increasing minimum wage is increasing pain and inflation. Take back the price of fuel. Take it back. Every other thing will fall in place. This is my concern. I wish the president will listen to this concern. God bless you. Now we don't hear from Apostle Alfred Uyinosa. Let us know what you think for comment session. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the year all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help or share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.